Are we doomed? Will AI technology take every job from us? Or are we just looking at the development of useful tools meant to assist us in our work? What's the real story? Practically every day we receive news about new AI-powered tools. We're no longer surprised by songs or melodies composed by artificial intelligence. We are flooded with images, fake photos, and videos that look increasingly realistic. Even this voiceover is generated by AI. Now it's time for sound effects. And now it's my turn to speak. This video is recorded with camera, and today's episode is dedicated to a new feature from Eleven Labs. I'm Kuba, and this is Cactus Sound. Intro. Hey everyone, today we are diving into the history of Eleven Labs and their new sound effects generator. And the big question, are we, sound designers, doomed with all this AI-generated stuff? Eleven Labs started out with a mission to transform audio interaction. Known first for their top-notch text-to-speech tech, and they quickly became a big name for natural sounding voices. Over the years, they've kept pushing the limits of what's possible with AI in audio. I've been working a lot with its text-to-speech and speech-to-speech -to -speech tools, making not only voiceovers for my YouTube videos, but also creating voiceovers for commercials or making ambiences and wallas in specific languages. I even created wallas in non-existing language for one game. That was fun, I must admit. Their latest gem is the sound effects generator. This tool lets you create custom sounds just by typing a description. It uses advanced AI trained on tons of sound data to produce effects. Using the SFX generator is super easy. Just type in what you want, like a crackling campfire or a futuristic spaceship engine. The AI then gives you four different sound options. You can tweak your sound further in the settings, adjusting parameters like duration or prompt influence. So, how does it work? The AI is trained using a huge library of sounds from Shutterstock. This means it's not just pulling pre-made sounds, it's actually creating new ones based on the data. This collaboration provides the AI with a rich pool of sounds to learn from, making sure the results are at least usable. What are these AI-generated sounds as good as the real thing? They can be pretty impressive, but some pros think they lack the subtle touches that humans can add. For many applications, the quality of AI-generated sounds is sufficient, and even advantages for rapid content creation, but it might not always meet the high standards required for feature-length films or intricate projects. Will AI-generated sounds kill stock libraries and the role of sound designers? This remains a continuous topic. AI tools can certainly reduce the reliance on stock libraries for basic effects, but they are more likely to complement rather than replace human creativity. Sound designers can leverage AI to handle repetitive tasks, allowing them to focus on more complex and creative work. However, there is a genuine concern that as AI technology advances, it might disrupt traditional workflows and job roles in unpredictable ways. Anyway, let's see the SFX generator in action. Here are a few examples, rising the bar with each one. Roaring Dragon. <laughs> TIE Fighter inspired spaceship flyby. Uh -uh. If you want to know how to make your own TIE fighter sounds, go check my video. Street ambience with high heels footsteps.
high-speed pursuit with tires squeaking and police sirens. Three dogs barking during the rock band concert. Medieval battle between two big armies, screaming and fighting with swords. Ghosts flying around big cathedral space. And you can also create short music parts too. Let's try some. New school hip hop beat with brass. Epic cinematic musical stinger. Stoner rock inspired music with guitar solo.
maybe let's just try to do the short scene sound design using only generated sound effects to see if that's even possible to use this tool exclusively. Nah, it is possible, but the quality really lacks human touch and realism. You still need to EQ things, add reverb and in general mix it. Without your ears and a bit of work, these sounds are just medium quality. So maybe for now you can generate samples that are usable, but not on their own. Are they better than recorded by you with professional equipment or from top-notch libraries? No. Definitely not. One thing I discovered doing this short scene, however, is the ease of letting the generator know what you want. The more straightforward the prompt is, describing what you want or what you see, the better were the results. In conclusion, 11 Labs sound effects generator is an exciting development in the world of sound design. It doesn't spell doom for sound designers, but instead provides them with a tool to enhance their workflow and creativity. While AI can handle many tasks efficiently, the artistry and intuition of human designers remain irreplaceable. Whether you're a professional sound designer or a content creator looking for sound effects, this tool is at least worth looking at. But the question remains, will AI eventually outpace human creativity in sound design or will it remain a helpful assistant in our creative toolbox? Only time will tell. We've seen similar advancements with Sora AI in the realm of video content, creating a mix of excitement and anxiety among video creators. Sora's ability to generate generic video shots has disrupted the stock video industry, raising concerns about the future of traditional video production roles. Similarly, 11 Labs SFX Generator brings both opportunities and uncertainties to sound design. It's a powerful tool, but its long-term impact on the industry remains to be seen. For now, I'm cool with that. Maybe lower budget productions will use this tool instead of buying sound effects or hiring sound guys. But for real, I can't imagine professionals relying on that only. Maybe for demos, previews. The quality and ability to modify what you want to create is still missing. However, I used it a few times recently when searching through my sounds ended up with nothing. I couldn't find the right meow or man screaming sounds. And finally, I used ones created with 11 laps. But come on, it's still two effects from hundreds I use, create or record every month. For now, I'm okay with this tool. I have in mind that I can always look there to see if it can propose anything better than is already in the project. Probably not, but as I said before, it saved my ass twice. For more info, check out the 11 Labs website and try their sound effects generator. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit like, share and subscribe for more sound related videos. Until next time.